hello students so in this chapter we are uh, in this lecture we are going to start with this next chapter which is testing of hypothesis this is the last chapter before ests so uh, let us see what we are going to do in this uh, chapter so first of all you should know what is a, a hypothesis so basically a hypothesis is, is a claim right for example suppose a school claims that average playing time of their school kids is one hour okay so this is what the school is claiming so here we have this is a hypothesis right and further suppose a social worker claims that it is not true so so maybe there is a situation that uh, like uh, government imposes on the schools that children have to play also and a school is claiming that in their school children they are playing at least one hour so they are saying that the average time of uh, uh, play is one hour but suppose a social worker is not agreeing with their claim right so in this case he uh, this social worker would like to test the hypothesis so basically he or she will accept or reject the hypothesis so this is the hypothesis which school is claiming this is a claim by the school this here is a claim by the school and now we have to accept or reject this claim so whenever we have so this is this is the problem of hypothesis testing so whenever we have this we define two kind of hypothesis one is null hypothesis so null hypothesis is generally status quo status quo means whatever is like currently assume for example in this case the current assumption is that the average mean time of the play is 1 hour so i will assume mu which is population mean equal to 1 hour so this statement here this statement is my null hypothesis we will denote it with h not so what is your null hypothesis null hypothesis is a hypothesis which we want to accept or reject so basically your status quo but it doesn't mean that you uh, like it is not unique some people may define the other which we are going to define so let me first define what is an alternative hypothesis so whenever you have a null hypothesis you can define the contradiction of it as your alternative hypothesis for example here you have h1 that uh, alternative hypothesis will be denoted by h1 that will be mu not equal to 1r okay so we will have Uh, a null hypothesis and an alternative hypothesis most of the times the null hypothesis will be your status quo which you want to accept or reject and alternative hypothesis will be a contradiction of the null hypothesis but in some books you will say see that this will be your null hypothesis and this will be your alternative uh, hypothesis and depending on what you are assuming your null hypothesis you will get acceptance or rejected uh, like rejected it will be accepted or rejected so ultimately you will uh, you will be at the same result at the end but for our course we will just focus we'll just consider whatever is the status quo as our null hypothesis okay so i hope this is clear so what is our aim so we want to accept or reject the null hypothesis this process is called hypothesis testing so there are so many steps for hypothesis testing we will discuss that uh, later but the first step is so whenever you are given a problem of hypothesis testing the first step is that you will define your null and alternative hypothesis so in this video you you just have to you know uh, find out what is null hypothesis and what is alternative hypothesis for example here is a, a question that company xyz manufactures calculators with an average mass of 450 grams an engineer believes that the average weight to be different and decides to calculate the average of 50 calculators he 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 doesn't believe that the manufacturer who is claiming that uh, the average mass is 450 grams so he he is you know going to test it so we have to state the null and alternative hypothesis here so here what is our status quo status quo is 450 grams mu is 450 grams so this is my null hypothesis i'll denote it with h not and what is my alternative hypothesis alternative hypothesis is because the engineer does not believe so uh, the alternative hypothesis is that mu is not equal to 450 grams so this is my alternative hypothesis okay so this is how you you will state your null and alternative hypothesis in some books you'll see that this notation for alternative hypothesis h a doesn't matter so you uh, we are going to use this notation h1 next look at this a teacher in a school believes that at least 80% of the students will complete high school 
A student disagrees with this value and decides to conduct a test. State the null and alternative hypothesis. Now you see here the student uh, teacher, what teacher is believing that 80% of the students will complete high school. Like uh, they are saying that whatever is the number in their school, number of students in their school, out of that 80% will complete high school. So P is the ratio. Ratio means uh, number of like basically this is the percentage of uh, students completing high school. So what is teacher's belief? Teacher's belief is that this number is at least 80%. So that is P is greater than or equal to 80%, right? Uh, this is not percentage, this is fraction because we are writing it as 0.8. And what student believes, what is le uh, the, the contradiction? Contradiction will be P less than 0.8. So in this case, you see that your null and alternative hypothesis, they have inequalities. So we, you can in have inequalities also, okay? So in this video, we saw how we can define null and alternative hypothesis.